Well, good day everyone. Um, Brian from Prime Cuts Lawn Care. Just um, this video will be about a la another large commercial property that I do, which is a vet clinic, and I'll go into that in a little bit. But first of all, I'd really like to thank my subscribers who'd have thought after a week or two that I think I've got 15 or 16 subscribers. I certainly didn't expect that. So special thank you to DLT Lawn Care, Doc and Sarah, thank you. Elite Landscapes Life Stories, Team Elite, Randall, thank you. Eddie H, thank you, Eddie. TJ Merrigans, thank you. Ron's Crystal River, thank you. Blind Touch, thank you. Drew's Property Management, Lawnscapes of America, Andrew S. Hanioki 14 thank you, Steve Johnson, Cobra Commander, and Big Sons Lawn Care, thank you mate. Uh, also, a real special thank you to Tom Doby and his Little Shop of Horrors. Tom's a great guy, um, great sense of humour. And Johnny Reagan as well, Tom and Johnny host Splatter Day Night. Um, and like when uh, Doc and Tom were live um, and, and all the participants in the chat there have been very welcoming to me and it's very much appreciated. Another guy who has also been very, very welcoming is Sarge Mickey Tesna of Everyday Detailing Lawn Care. Thanks Sarge, thanks mate. So again, thank you very much to everybody. Um, just a little bit of background on the vet clinic. Um, I do two vet clinics that are op owned by the same operator. And this one is a little bit out of town. So it's about 15 k south on the main highway into Canberra at a little place called Murrum Bateman. So the video is in a couple of sections and it may seem a little bit disjointed. But what I've done is I've put the wrap up at the start and then shown uh, the fence line clean up last, even though I took the videos for the fence line first. So I hope this makes sense. Uh, the vet clinic takes about five and a half hours to do every fortnight, so it's pretty substantial. It's about two and a half to three hours to whip a snip, and then the, the rest is mowing. Um, this week I left home at 25 past seven. That's about 15 minutes to get there. So I start at 20 to eight. Um, and then finished at about 10 past one. And then it's 15 minutes to get home. So just of note, uh, any customers that are out of town are charged travel time, which is at my normal hourly rate. And as per my previous videos, I'm very upfront about my rates. So my time, my wear and tear on the vehicle, the trailer, cost of fuel, they're worth something and they should cost something and should be charged appropriately. And that's what I do. So thank you everybody and uh, on to the video. G'day everyone, Brian from Prime Coach Lawn Care. Just uh, one of my big commercial properties as well. It's a vet clinic, a little place called Mar and Bateman. Just give you a pan around of it. I'm at the front gate. I do this little area at the front. Just walk down. So there's sort of three or four distinct areas. So where I'm on now, we, I call that the top right area. So I do inside the fences, obviously. About halfway up there, there's a, a drain. So I do this front section on its own. And then we look down to the left here. And let's call this the left car park area. So beyond that uh, white ute, there's a laneway, you might just see the white tops of the fence 
um, I do down there. I don't do that paddock because there's livestock in there, but I do these front areas and in and under the trees, and it's all come up really nicely. You can see the leaves are starting to fall now. Autumn's well and truly on the way. So that's all come up really well. I've leaf blown around the, the, the property as well. And then we'll just walk up this right hand side. You can see pretty much right in front of us there's a little bit of a drain, but it wasn't too bad today. We, this area has actually had a bit more rain than Yass. And the aspect of this property is, as you can see, it, it, it slopes down from right to left. So it does cop a lot of uh, runoff. And you'll see here to the right, there's your drain. And up above that is the main highway to Canberra. So a lot of runoff comes down through here. And you can see where the drain snakes through. I can't mow it, but I whipper snip it. That was three or four feet high a month ago. So I worked on that pretty hard to get that under control. But there is a small area here where I, um, I mow as well. And then up, up along the fence line, actually you can see the neighbor up there, he's on his mow, I see he's having a go, which is good. And it's all come up pretty well. This a lot of uh, dandelion and aspalum, which is sometimes you got to knock them over a couple of times to clean it up. So just walking along the top of that drain, and it snakes quite a bit around. You can see those bushes, so it's to the right of that bush. And then down here we've got the horse holding yards. The area right below us. There's a lot of surface water, but it actually is quite firm, which is good. So I still could mow that. Quite a steep little embankment here. I'll just move to the right. And you can still see this drain goes all the way down to that, that fence. I didn't do this holding yard because it's too wet. And you'll see a bit of sloppiness down there where I almost got bogged so and you can see surface water there as well I've done a lot of I, I just left that area there I didn't whip a snip it as well and then this whole area I've had to work on very hard to get the uh, under and around the fences cleaned up it's it's taken a long time and this particular fence line here um, you'll see in a, um, a video that I've already done uh, I did that today as well I did uh, the inside part of it last week but then the outside part of it I did today with the, with the wheel trimmer as well <laughs> just get through the gate this is the horse paddock and, and by the way, all the, um, I'll call it the front part of the property I do at two and a half inches, uh, two and a quarter inches actually. The, the, the laneways, I do at two and a half. And this horse paddock, I do at three. And it's as rough as guts. It may look smooth, but if you want to sit on a fucking bronco for half an hour, this is the, this is the block to do it on. So, just moving over, this is the holding yards. I didn't do them today, as I said. And then we move over to the back of the property. And you can see this fence here. It, it's where I want that other fence to be, which it will be. Um, the other fence just had a bit of debris on it, but that'll work, work its way away. Um, and I've got a whipper snip around the tanks. But... Looking under the, the fence line, that, that's how we want it. Nice and tidy. Don't want any, uh, don't any brown snakes around fences. But these paddocks behind here I don't have to do because they're lower. But they've also got stock livestock in them. You can see a sheep over in the background. And then 
towards the back here, that's all come up pretty well around the water tanks and then towards the back of the, the vet hospital come up there, come up well a few, few sheep there in the back pardon my bad camera skills a little steep hill here but a lot of dandelion and aspartum and sometimes you just got to run over it a few times to get what I call the rat's tails and then just over the back here that dark area is where they you know let the animals out to have a little bit of a run but there's a few weeds in there and I just spray them and there's that white ute again and I do down that fence line where the white cap posts are right to the very back so there's a perimeter lane way that I do all the way around. So that's my other big commercial property. And um, it's coming up pretty well. And it's coming from a long way back because there was some real overgrown areas. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Just uh, doing this fence line at the vet clinic. You can see I've done this left hand side. I did it uh, two weeks ago on this side with the wheel string trimmer. So it's got rid of a lot of the heavy paspalum. So I've just used the hand whipper snipper to do that. You'll see the fence in the shed down the bottom there. I don't need to do that fence, but predominantly I have to do, have to do these uh, smaller holding paddocks uh, at the vet clinic. So I'll just walk around um, and show you a bit of countryside out there. I'm about 15k south of um, Yass. These are small sort of farmlets. There is a very big property uh, not too far away. Excuse me, I just got to get over the rough ground. Pick up a glove that I dropped. And you can see, and particularly when we get down further, it's very heavy as pylon. So I'm going to get the Cub Cadet wheel string trimmer into this to get the bulk of it out and then give her a bit more of a tidy up. It's been a bit of a work in progress, this place. Uh, I did do uh, that, that fence over there. It's quite heavy. And where we've just come from, where that gate is, you can see some of the, the grass that was up. It was about two foot high there. And that's where a drain comes down. So we had three inches the other day. It's, Still quite dewy this morning. It's about half past nine, quarter to ten. So I'm just doing all the whipper snipping first, which is a fairly big job. Uh, and then hopefully things will have dried a little bit for the mowing. But right in front of us here, you'll see where I whipper snip. There's a you know lots of paspalum there. A couple of little blue ends in front of me, and this. This drain, it was three or four foot high originally with paspalum. And you can see that it snakes all the way up, up to the left there. So I've done that all this morning. It was about a foot high, so I really just knocked the top off it. And you can see the, the front gate up there. So that's this is the top left hand part of the property. Okay, so that fence line is done. It took about, oh, I'd say about 20-ish minutes. All that past palum's gone. Very thick. You can see it on the ground. I've still got to run through this laneway and this paddock to the left here with the mower. But as mentioned, uh, 
I'm just doing all the whippersnipping first prior to, uh, to mowing just to try and let things dry out a little bit. But that's uh, successful. It might look a bit messy, but it'll, it'll tidy up once I've mowed.